Hello guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. Today I am going to look at an application that comes with a Transformer Prime called MyCloud, which is this one right here. Let me just zoom in. Um, there, are, there do seem to be two applications, none of which I've installed on the Prime, they seem to be there already. One called Web Storage, which looks like an Asus um, program as well, but MyCloud, which I'm pretty sure came with a Prime. I'm wondering if Web Storage came with Ice Cream Sandwich. But I'm going to try MyCloud today. Not used it before, have no idea what it gives me, uh, so y you will find out um, at the same time I find out. So uh, let's go straight into it. Looks like I get 8 gigabytes of Asus Web Storage, which is very generous of them. And I will have to create an account to do that, of course. So, welcome to Asus Web Storage. Uh, let's launch it and see what happens. Ah, so it does look as though it's just sent me to the same place as the other application. And so it has logged in. So it's now telling me I have 8 gig of space. And here is my folder. So it looks as though my cloud is now Asus Web Storage. The two seem to have merged together. So I'm going to share in the cloud a item. But what I'm not going to do, click new. Okay. So that was just an email telling me about Web Storage. It was my phone going off as well. Um, not really sure what that does. Right. So I'm creating a folder here. Which is all well and good. So there's nothing in there. So this is now my Transformer Prime and there was a particular pr thing I wanted to put in there this here, I'm not sure if you can see that, let me just bring that right up to the camera and I do apologise for the usual screen flicker on my camera Currents, that is Google Currents which for some reason we cannot download here in the UK I had to get it from a source outside the marketplace so what I want to do is I want to transfer this Google Currents application to my phone. So I'm going to put it on the web storage and then hopefully on the phone I can um, get the file I want. So I'm going to tick it. Okay. And it's saying uploading down at the bottom there. And Let's see, it's still uploading at the moment. There it is, so I've got a little screen now that's telling me how long that's going to take. I think while that's doing that, what I'm going to do is... Since I'm sure this is now the web storage program, I'm going to download it for my phone. There it is, at the top. So that's just going to download. Okay, so I'm going to now check on the cloud. Okay, so we've logged in on the phone. So connecting to the server. Um, pardon me. Right. So looks as though there's a slight issue with for some reason I've got Chinese characters on there, but. does seem to have successfully 
downloaded that, so presuming I press that button there. So now it's asking me where I want to put it. So it's downloading to the phone now, which hopefully should be giving me an indication. Okay, so the download should now have completed on here. And it's there. Let's see now if I can actually find it on the phone. Download into download. So there we are. Currents is now downloaded successfully onto my phone. And as soon as I've taken off that option. So there we are, Google Currents is now installed on my phone, which is nice and lovely. So, a quick demonstration really there of my cloud or what now seems to be Asus Web Storage. Uh, nothing too fancy, but it certainly seems to work. And um, that's 8 gigabyte of free storage, which is fairly nice. I hope you found that useful. I uh, wasn't really much of a demonstration, to be honest. There was, I mean, it's, it's, it's cloud and it works. Um, so there we are. Thanks for watching and I will see you on another video at some other time.